construction of the 4 km Johor Bahru Singapore Rapid Transit System RTS Link has crossed another milestone, with roughly 65% of structural works on the Singapore site done. The project has also reached 65% completion on Malaysia's end, according to the country's Mass Rapid Transit Corporation. The drop-in span, which connects both sides of the viaduct, has been completed. This is a 17.1 m long reinforced concrete structure connecting Malaysia's Pier 47 and Singapore's Pier 48 above sea level, the closest piers to the other country. Singapore Prime Minister Lee Shin Long and Malaysia Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim met on Thursday, January 11 to mark the completion of the connecting span. Both Prime Ministers signed commemorative plaques symbolizing a shared commitment to the rail project to improve connectivity between Singapore and Johor Bahru. The RTS link is expected to start passenger service by the end of 2026. It aims to ease traffic congestion on the causeway, one of the world's busiest border crossings, by ferrying up to 10. 000 passengers an hour each way on a journey that takes about 5 minutes. It is estimated to cost RM 10 billion 2.15 billion US dollars, with Singapore bearing 61% of the cost. All 12 pile caps in the streets of Johor on Singapore's site have also been completed, said the country's Land Transport Authority LTA on Thursday. A pile cap is a thick concrete mat that rests on concrete or timber piles that have been driven into soft or unstable ground to provide a stable foundation. They will form the foundation for the piers that support the rail viaduct structure on land and sea. Construction of the piers as well as the launch of viaduct segments are ongoing. After civil infrastructure works are done, installation works for the rail systems will be carried out by RTS operations. The company is a joint venture between Malaysia's Prezorana and Singapore's SMRT to operate the RTS link service. The RTS shuttle service will run between the Singapore terminus at Woodlands North Station and the Malaysia terminus at Bukit Choga Station in Johor Bahru. The Woodlands North Station, which is being constructed at a maximum depth of 28 m, will be connected via an underground linkway to the immigration area. On the Malaysia side, the immigration facilities will also be located at Bukit Choga Station. This means passengers only need to clear immigration authorities once at their point of departure. Currently, Passengers need to clear immigration on arrival as well. The Woodlands North Station and CIQ Customs, Immigration and Quarantine Building, a three-story structure with two basement levels, will be ten times the size of a typical MRT station, LTE said. The CIQ Building is designed to be CA's Green Mark Platinum Certification, with energy-saving equipment incorporated into its design and operations. These include features such as LED lighting, solar panels, and a hybrid cooling system. Both the station and CIQ building will be connected to the Thomson East Coast Line Woodlands North MRT station via an underground concourse.